Hello? L-O-L. Oh my god, I'm still up, and I have more to say. Alright, so, um... It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still up. Alright, I'm gonna try to make this a really short video, just because I'm about to eat breakfast. I don't care about my accent anymore. Um... And everyone's about to wake up here. So I'm just gonna make a quick ass video. So, first things first, I'm a uh, address the pink elephant in the room in this series of videos. And that is the ghetto thing where I break into like my ghetto thing and um, how to explain that is just, Every minority can do that. Even the whitewashed folks can do that. If you got a little bit in you, you can always do that shit, all right? So I'm going to be for real frank with it. Every minority can do that, all right? And why? Why do we do that? All right. If you've ever been made to feel... Like, you are not the white American norm. You know exactly why you do that. It's because... Like, it's so obvious in school. It's just because, like... There's, like, no other way to explain it besides what I just said. If you've ever been made to feel that way, you just know what it's like to just want to hang out with your people. You know, like hang out with the Nigerians and learn their culture and how they grew up in America. Like me as a flip, as an Asian, I learned how to act like in America from the black people. I don't know why my face is fucked up. I learned how to act like in America from the black people. It's so true. Um, they're the friendliest people in America. And, like, I get my feelings hurt when people say stuff like, oh, they're so uneducated. That's, like, the worst one. And I'm not here to educate, but how can you treat your soldier sisters that way? Like, seriously. <clears throat> They were, like, your best friends in school, especially in elementary school. They were so friendly. And, yeah, they do the white people thing, too, or the white kids thing, where they kind of, like, ditch your ass in high school. But that's, like, their black way of staying friendly is, like, a little bit of disrespect means respect. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so they're just, like... Honestly, it's just, like, the African way of, like, giving space, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. I love Tyra. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, most of my personality <laughs> differs from Tyra. Because, like, I just love her. She's so funny. Um, and she makes me feel like I can truly be myself. Like, if I ever had an older sister, it would be Tyra. I just feel that way. Alright, so, did I address it enough? Um, I think so. Alright, so I was like, I'm gonna address the pink elephant in the room and then fix the baby later. <laughs> Alright, so I wrote down some notes. I'm not shaking because I had coffee. Alright, so... Pronouncing my last name. So, I'm gonna not get into the heebie jeebies of the internet, but I noticed I hate it too, where I have to say I notice it's just white guys that do this, but they wanna be so picture perfect about everything, and pronunciation is like their biggest concern in their manliness. So, when they meet me and they find out my last name, they're like, oh, I can pronounce that. And they practice and they're like, how do you actually say it though, John? So my last name is Velasco. I know it's really hard. 
I feel like I always get Velasquez. <laughs> I always get it. Me and Nicole in BGHS. I'm sure everyone got us confused. Because my last name is Velasco and her last name was Velasquez. And we were right next to each other in the yearbook. I'll always remember Nicole. Um, Alright, so it's Velasco. I know people like to say the V really hard. They're like, V, Velasco. And it's like, no, sir, it's Velasco. Um, obviously, I've had practice in it. But um, even I notice when they get it right, it's still a little bit not right because they say it too much where you can just tell all the emphasis in this sentence is on it and it's just like well you thought about that way too much before you said it practice <laughs> um <clears throat> so my full name is john velasco 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 <laughs> And any more ways to kind of practice on it, um, just say, it. my pronunciation technique is saying it in my head over and over and trying to get it right and then just saying it. <laughs> All right, so, and then fixing the boo-boo is just like less serious, hard to do, so, um, just like keeping things lighthearted and lot lives, just like um, even though everyone wants to talk about race, it's just like uh, let's talk about these itty bitty topics first, you know. And then I mention stuff and I like talk about it, and then I like do my John thing and like just speak, and then like. <laughs> I'm not even going to fix that, but I mentioned something about family-oriented, and I don't know if people like it or disagree, but I mentioned um, friends first, family second, um, and that's, I never Googled that. I learned it in school from my friends. We used to say it on the playground all the time in elementary school. We were like, you know, doing the pinky thing, and we we're like, friends first first, family, second, we used to always do that, um, just to, like, show that we're, like, friends first, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, it's just, like, a 80s, 90s thing, and, like, we're the cool kids, we're the step-up kids, you know, um, and then another thing I wanted to mention is just names. So I honestly like try to cl I can't even speak because I'm so excited. I try to like find little things in Survivor that's like an RPG because it's like a confined game or constructed. And the one thing that they both have in common is names. So, like, a lot of parents-to-be is just like, man, I really like Celis, um, or I really like the name Tara, but it's like, they said it already in this game, and it's like, do I want to go for it? And some people do, and then, like, they're, like, totally against it. So they're like, I want to find, like, a name that doesn't sound like a JRPG name. And then they don't ever want to, like, give in to, like, a Celeste or, like, um, uh, Aram. So, like... <clears throat> Yeah, 
I don't know what else to say anymore. Um, but like in American culture, society, life, like we do have common names that are just going to be names forever and they'll never use it in a RPG game. In all the RPGs, I've never encountered John. Uh, they use it in Red Dead Redemption, but uh, that's not RPG. And, um, yeah, so, like, go hunt for it. You know, like, Cassidy is a good example of, like, an all-American name. I still think John is a very all-American name. You know, it's not just universal. It's very all-American, you know, if you're, um, from another country, you want to, like, um pick the right name for your kid, you know, and then, like, just whatever, <laughs> and then, you know, um, and then, yeah, this is pretty much it, <laughs> so, it was, like, addressing an elephant in the room, because <laughs> I know some people is just, like, John, we know exactly what you're doing, and I can do it so much better, but, like, People's is like, they spill the tea too much, sis, and that's like a straight up spoiler on the internet when you like have a whole thing and then you like just like give it, you know? But me, like, my style is just like, I don't have any style, it's just like, it's just like telling stories and like stuff like that. <clears throat> I know people like short stories, too, that you can just tell, like, college, if we're just standing around, <laughs> um, like, four-sentence stories like that, <laughs> and then, um, pronouncing anything, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was really funny, less serious, hard to do, Friends first, family second, and then names, not JRPG. Um, yeah, that's what I had written down. So, I'm going to probably just like, eat breakfast while this is uploading. And, like, I kind of just want to, like, shy away today. <laughs> like, for serious. Because, like, I've been having so much fun just, like, in the past few hours just like doing this and I'm just like I don't want to bust out my room looking like excited as hell and people's like what are you on and I'm just like do you want a list um yeah but what are you on like right now I'm playing Final Fantasy 6 Pixel Remaster I'm playing Atelier Eska and Logi. That's so hard to say. And, um, my dog's at the door. Um, she can rot. And, um, I'm on Survivor 5, Time End, episode 3. Jed just got voted off. So I'm actually on. Oh, wait, no, he hasn't been voted off, or has he? Man, I don't remember. Yeah. I do the same thing, too. I'm just, like... I'm just watching TV. Could be any show. And I'm just, like... They just use the weirdest name. And then in my head, I'm so speculative. I'm just, like, that's so mysterious. <laughs> And I'm like, do I know any Jeds? <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, but he said Jeb, not Jed. Why didn't they edit that out? <laughs> you know? And then, I don't know, I just feel like some people focus on stuff they shouldn't be focusing on. And they should just be like, that moment made me feel weird and I want to talk about it. You know, type of thing. Um, 
Yeah, I'm like mad at my dog right now. I'm like showing her. Because she's been acting weird. Even this whole time when I was in here, she was just like sleeping on the floor. And the lights were on. And I was talking. There's like something up with her. I hope she doesn't like die or anything soon. But I'm sure that's not the case. I would just know. Yeah, so I'm maybe going to eat or not and then come back. Maybe I'll lie down for like five minutes. But I'm like so up and like I just want to say stay up. Um, chillaxing. All my dogs crying, so I have to go. All right, so and then just let BRB.